like the video right now if you don't want this ugly, dirty, bummy crackhead off the corner to be with your sister. Like the video right now. I would not risk you. Hey yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Crack Man Stevie. Now listen, now listen, now listen. This build is golden. It's straight golden. Now look, I know it's called a mid-range flasher, but don't let the name deceive you. Yo, this build is broken. Now all these other people that made this build did not make this build correctly. This is the best way to make this build. And also shout out to IGR, One Shot Mar. I'm going to put the uh, channel up on the... Uh, you know, I'm gonna put it up there. Go subscribe to him, whatever. Yeah, now let's get into this build video right now. Now, what y'all want to do to make this build? I heard people just saying y'all want to go with all these other pod charts, but look, use the pure playmaking ch pod chart. Listen, this build at 99 is going to be probably the best build in the game you could possibly make, and it's called a mid range slasher. So, I mean, like. It's a win-win situation. Now listen, a lot of people will go with the fastest pie chart, but look, you do not need a 95 speed and acceleration because if you grind this build to 99, you already have 99 speed without it. So pick the vertical and speed pie chart. This is the best pie chart you want to pick for this build. And listen, for finishing, you want to go ahead and max out everything like always, bro. But don't max out standing dunk and post hook do not do that now for shooting you want to max out everything on shooting besides free throw just until you get a nice 15 shooting badges on this build now listen the badges is already looking great on this build 15 shooting 11 finishing and look how many playmaking you want now listen you i know you're probably like well you could have got more but they will keep giving you a slashing playmaker build you don't want that now what you want to do is you want to put your passing accuracy just up to 79 so you can have 20 playmaking badges now you could go higher but they will give you a slashing playmaker and you do not want that you want this build to be this way now for defense you want to max out perimeter max out lateral and max out your steel on this build and um i'm pretty sure you want to max out rebounding too because obviously you want to be able to rebound now you do not need block but you can put that up if you want to but it won't give you the mid-range slash for build now with the height, your block will already go up, so I wouldn't recommend it. Now I know y'all probably be like, well, why would you want to do that when you could like have a nice better build, but you don't want to do that. You want to put it on interior defense, the last bit of it on interior defense. Now this is how the build's looking. Now I know some people will be like, why won't you just sort it out and switch around some things because this build isn't looking great on playmaking badges. You can honestly switch it around if you want to. It's up to you. But I'm telling you, they will not, they will not give you the mid-range slash your build. So yeah, that's what you want to do. For body shape, you can go anyone if you want. But for all these videos, we go built. Yes, built all the time. For height, you don't lose no ball control, surprisingly. You just lose one mid-range shot. That's probably the most sad thing for this build that you're losing. But yes, six foot five is the way if you don't lose no ball control. No ball control. Now obviously you don't want to be max weight because why would you go max weight on this guard? You barely get anything for strength. It's a dummy. It's really dumb. So go ahead and drop it all the way down to lowest weight. Now listen, 49, like, listen, strength does not affect dunking in this game whatsoever. So don't do that. You can max out your wingspan, but only a dummy would do that because you lose everything. You're only gaining a little bit of, I'm pretty sure, still, and that's retarded. So go ahead and put the wingspan to lowest, or you could do not lowest. It's up to you. But yeah, for takeover. Wait, wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, for takeover. Uh, you get slashing, shot creating, playmaking takeover. Now, these are some of the three best takeovers in the game, but... If I was you, if if you strictly are going to ISO on this build, even though it takes a really long time to get a uh, playmaking takeover, you could pick that. But if you're Eli, you'll get it way faster. Shocker and takeover is good too. Slash and takeover, in my opinion, is probably the best takeover for anyone to pick because you get the 5 plus on mid range and three pointer. 
which is weird because you get a drive and dunk upgrade and a ball handle upgrade on slash and takeover but if you just want to strictly iso go ahead and pick playmaker takeover but yeah slash and takeover is the best and what do you get a mid-range slasher compared to derrick rose this is the best derrick rose slash mid-range slasher build in the game it even says mid-range slasher which makes it sound way more better than slash and playmaker for Derrick Rose because he's a mid-range destroyer and he slashes like when he when he was in his prime man he was the best now, obviously we're not gonna be testing the build so put it at 99 and since we have 10 defensive badges we're gonna start off from defensive badges first now on defense what you want to do is you want to put intimidator on gold and clamps on gold that's what you can do and you want to put your silver pick dodger on and a silver pickpocket now listen or you can switch it around for rim protector but you don't have no upgrades on block anyway but yeah now listen if you are a legend and you do make this build you will have 20 defensive badges now that's that's broken in my opinion or you can switch your uh badges around put on rebound chaser or do whatever but i think silver pickpocket silver pick dodger is probably the best way to go now for finishing badges this build gets contact dunks at 99 overall and it will have an 85 driving dunk at 99.9 so obviously you want to do gold contact finisher and gold slithery finisher now if you're grinding this build for rep you can put on lobsity finisher and fast break finisher if you want your takeover real fast but that's up to you but, though, but these are the main two badges you want. Contact finisher and slither finisher at, like, off the rip, bro. Like, that's what you want all the time, no matter what you're doing. You want slither finisher and contact finisher all the time. I know people say it doesn't, like, come on. Now, for these last uh, couple badge upgrades for finishers, you want to put it on silver, giant slayer, and gold fast break finisher just so you can get your takeover fast. Because if you're playing threes, you're always going to get a fast break dunk on this build no matter what or you can take it off and put on silver fancy footwork and bronze consistent finisher but that's that's up to you but that is basically the the best finishing badges for this build because you get contact dunks at 99 and if you're a legend you'll have 21 finishing badges so i mean like it's already broken so yeah for shooting badges you're going to go ahead and put on gold quick draw gold range extender and gold high zone off the rip those are the best badges you want when you're a player so uh yeah and i've heard a lot of people say green machine works way better than catch and shoot but yeah you can put that on and put on dead eye and that's probably the best way to set it up but if you don't believe in green machine like that or you don't like using green machine go ahead and put on a gold catch and shoot and uh go difficult shot if you like it like that but if you know you're not going to be uh, doing that, go ahead and put on a gold catch and shoot and a gold uh, dead eye. I, that's what I would personally run if I was running this build, even though I've already made it. I'm just not that good on it yet. But yeah, if you think green machine works the best, go ahead and put that on. Or you can put on corner specialist and difficult shot if you want to be the Derrick Rose type of player. Like if you know you're going to be isolating on twos, go ahead and put on difficult shot gold corner specialist goal because you know Derrick Rose fade green everything bro like he, he was goaded but yeah I would personally run catch and shoot goal and dead eye goal on this build for the last badges now for playmaking badges these are the most important ones you want hall of fame quick first step right off the bat like what are you doing you want hall of fame quick first step now for the rest of these badges it's so controversial you want silver unpluckable. I tell y'all this in every video. Go unpluckable and Hall of Fame unpluckable. Don't really do nothing. And put on the standard badges. Space Creator Hall of Fame. Hand of the Day is Hall of Fame. Anchor Breaker Hall of Fame. And tie handles on silver. That's the best way to set it up. If you're going for strictly a strictly ISO build. But if you're not, you can go ahead and take off Hall of Fame Anchor Breaker. If you're not running the playmaking takeover. If you're running the playmaking takeover, you always want Hall of Fame Anchor Breaker on. And Hall of Fame Space Creator, so you can just destroy people. Like, but if you're running threes, put on Hall of Fame Dimer and take off Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker. But that is the build. 
Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Can we get what? 10, 15 likes? Can we get 15 likes or 10 likes on this video? But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Take a screenshot of all these badges or pause, whatever, and I'm out. Peace.